So today I wanted to talk about a paper model I'm making. He's actually one of the characters from my graphic novel. Uh, he's just one of those helping hand kind of robots, an homage to the Tony Stark kind of comedy, uh, uh, comedic effect robots that were hanging around in his garage. Uh, they're the victims of a lot of just miscellaneous abuse and whatever. But they show up as, you know, kind of a, uh, a metaphor for a couple of things in my book. You can tell that, uh, you know, on this page, you know, they're not particularly intelligent you know they can speak and whatever but you know they're sort of like the little brother to the the other bigger robots but you know i wanted to kind of break this down into something people could make on their own as part of you know a future kickstarter campaign you know later on maybe i can texture this guy uh, but you can see he has a few if i turn on the x-ray view here excuse me he's got a few joints in here you can tell they'll be held together by you know, simple pins, simple pivots and joints, uh, places where you glue, places where you don't glue, and, you know, we can have a little bit of posability in a simple paper model. I didn't want to build treads because I think that's asking way too much of, you know, a lot of people. And these, these treads would be so small. I mean, it could put a single strip of paper on there, but it would take, take something else to hold them onto the tracks like this, uh, which isn't really engineering, uh, doesn't have engineering credibility, as one would say. <laughs> But, you know, this ended up, I, I used a, an extension that I found. Oops, wrong file. I used an extension that for SketchUp that I found that does the flattening process. Now, this, unlike uh, programs like Pepakura, which I've used before, uh, it doesn't have the ability to, uh, to kind of cue which edges get torn up and flattened and unwrapped and whatever. And you also have to do the paper tabs for the assembly yourself. But... You know, I'm used to SketchUp, so that's not really a big deal, and I'm kind of familiar with the way Pepakura does its paper tabs, and uh, I've built a, a number of these kinds of models before, and uh, I'll, you know, I'll, I'll make up, you know, my own paper tab library and start applying them. But I wanted to kind of show that this plugin uh, is kind of cool. You know, it works uh, pretty much how you'd expect it, except, you know, unlike Pepakura, you can't do too much to to tell it exactly where things end up. So let me just select a couple of faces here. Uh, you don't really have to select them in any particular order, but you can tell, uh, you know, the, the discrete shapes of different objects. Like say, this is this is just complex enough so that the the extension, which I'll show you in a second, uh, you know, might get a little confused about. You know, and it'll give you t the more complex the, the the object that you're unwrapping, or unwrapping and flattening. Uh, uh, the more chance it has to kind of randomly go through iterations. So once you have the extension uh, installed in SketchUp, uh, you can assign your own uh, keyboard shortcut, but I wanted to show you where it'll end up. As always, it's under the Tools and Unwrap and Flatten. And just as a quick, you know, experiment, you can see now... I've actually already done this, and this is a different layout from what you can see here is the previous layout. So this is a previous try, which I liked a lot. And this one is actually pretty good. It's just a little, lar a little large to fit on a, se a sheet of paper. Uh, you'd have to fit a lot of counterforms and other parts in here. And I kind of liked the first iteration because this is a simple shape to just visually understand uh, from the get-go, it's just sort of this this piece will t you know glue into here, and I can actually, on the sheet of paper, put instructions for a user to say, glue this tab to this tab, and they're they're close together. Whereas on this one, they would be very far apart. So as a usability thing, I think that's that's kind of an important thing to consider. But that's what I wanted to show. It's a simple unwrap and flatten uh, I'll, uh, extension for uh, SketchUp. I'll, I'll include this link. Uh, I want to show you the settings simply. There, there really isn't much to do here except for the more complex an, objects, uh, an object gets, the more you might want to play with these settings, the iterations, the number of times it's going to look for solutions uh, in the math that it uses. This is usually set, you know, we're familiar with working in 3D. Uh, it flattens on uh, this axis, you know, the Z axis by default. And uh, unless you actually want them to flatten in another direction, I'm not entirely sure why you would want to do that. But if you want to, those are options that are available. But that's the unwrap and flatten extension for Google SketchUp. 
if, if, if you please, uh, you know, hit like, subscribe, all that stuff. Uh, I've got a newsletter you can subscribe to, and I've covered this topic in that newsletter uh, as it related to other things that I'm doing for the graphic novel and uh, for this model. But until, until next time. <laughs>